Hello everyone, my name is João and welcome to another anatomy tutorial here at CanHub. Today we're going to be talking about the lymphatics of the lungs. In today's tutorial, we're going to look at the lymph nodes of the lung and surrounding structures. Once we've learned about the lymphatics of the lung, we're going to take a look at the clinical relevance of the pulmonary lymph nodes and their pathological role in cancer cell metastasis. We will be using this helpful diagram throughout today's tutorial, so let's briefly talk about what we're looking at. This is an anterior view of the lungs and airways with the descending thoracic aorta here and the venous brachiocephalic trunks here. The lymph nodes of the lungs and surrounding structures are shown here in yellow. Now remember that as we go through, we'll highlight in green the specific area we're talking about. First thing we need to do is to actually answer a question, what is the lymphatic system? Let's take a quick overview. The lymphatic system is a huge network of tissues and organs which defend your body against disease causing agents. Well, that's the main definition of the system. We can think of it as a filtering system. It is primarily made up of lymph. Lymph is the fluid that circulates throughout the lymphatic system. It originates as interstitial fluid and contains a variety of substances such as leukocytes, plasma proteins, water, chyle, glucose and salts. Now these enter the lymphatic system through little capillaries that run into the lymph vessels, which happen to be the next point here, lymph vessels. They are part of the lymphatic system and they transport lymph throughout your body. They contain valves just like veins so that lymph can travel in only one direction, Forwards. You can see some lymph vessels on the image here. Now the third element that we find in the lymphatic system is what we know as the lymph nodes. And lymph nodes are bean shaped organs seen here on this image. They are found throughout the lymph vessels and these contain large numbers of B cells and T cells. The lymph nodes are responsible for filtering lymph fluid and removing infectious agents. Now let's focus on the very first item on our list, lymph. And to do so, we're going to be using this image here showing a section of a lymph node. As we mentioned, lymph travels in one direction only. Lymph enters into lymph nodes via several afferent lymphatic vessels and they exit the lymph node via efferent lymphatic vessels, don't forget that. Now these are wider and fewer in number than afferent lymphatic vessels. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and Atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.